Peach Garden and today we're in an exclusive landed estate just three minutes to Tanjong Katong MRT. If you're on a hunt for a landed plot that's a regular shape for detached land, ready to move in or have the potential for you to build up, follow us on this home tour with Property Lim Brothers Landed Home Tour Series. Let's go! So this property is a detached freehold plot standing at 6123 square feet. Build up is approximately 5,000. We have a total of four bedrooms and a room downstairs for the helper. So that's five bedrooms. So the land plot here is about 18.1 meters in terms of the width and yeah. then in terms of depth, we're looking at an average of about 31 meters. So just a fun fact about detached homes. For a detached home, you need to have minimally about 4,300 square feet in terms of land plot. And in terms of your width, it needs to be at least a minimum of nine. So our land plot here is about 50% larger in terms of the width as well as in terms of the land size because we are standing at 6,123 square feet. Peach Garden is actually a, what you call a rare landed housing estate and it's extremely rare to find this type of landed housing estate in Singapore. There are only eight including Peach Garden and what this means is that you actually have a rare garden with a setback of 7.5 meters from the rear. Usually it's 7.5 meters setback from your front boundary line but in this case this allows you to have a bigger garden mm. space. What you will notice about where we're at in Peach Garden is that most of the houses are actually a back-to-back -back, but we're single loading which means that you don't have a house behind you and having the additional buffer of the garden behind at 7.5 meters I think that really gives you an additional buffer to the main road. The home here was built in 1975 and the owners bought it in 2008 and that, that was around the time where they did the renovation where they changed a little bit of how the kitchen is set up right now and they also changed the tiles in one of the bathrooms. The existing structure of the home actually still has a lot of integrity so it's a really solid build according to our builder who did a walkthrough with us. At the current build of approximately 5,000 square feet with five bedrooms and five bathrooms, if you're looking for a home for immediate occupation, you don't want to do a major a, &A this home is actually extremely suitable for that just to do minor renovations within the home itself. On the top of our cars, because we were just admiring that yes. beautiful car yeah. there, the power supply here is 100M three-phase. Potentially, yeah. if you want to upgrade to maybe yeah. an EV, the house will definitely be able to support that. This is the 7.5 meter rear garden that we were talking about. This is a wonderful space for you to have if you have kids or pets. It's so much room to play around with. You could put like maybe a pool or a proper playground setup. This is perfect for families. But otherwise, this is a great place for you to host your friends as well. Do a barbecue here, that'll be perfect. And if you just look behind us, you'll see that there are lots of trees at the back and as you mentioned just now this is one of those units that don't have any units facing the back right behind us is actually the East Coast Expressway so in fact we're actually very close to East Coast Park and getting around for residents here is very convenient on top of having the upcoming MRT station that's just about a three minutes walk away so we'll enter to the home from the back You notice that the door is angled in a certain orientation for feng shui reasons. But as you come in, you have this really spacious foyer area. They've got a piano here, some windows on the side. But this is a really lovely entryway. It's great that it's segregated. The messy area is sort of segregated away from the living and dining area. So when your friends all come and stroll in, there's still a little space for them before they transition over yeah. to the hosting zone. So let's talk about the floor plan. We have a total of five bedrooms. So we have one on the first floor. So this is like your granny room or a study room like it is currently. You've got the common bath and you also have the the helper's room behind and utility WC. So on the second floor, we have four bedrooms, three bathrooms, two of which are en suite, and one bathroom is a Jack and Joe. So we'll talk a bit more about the location of where Peach Garden is. So we have primarily four different District 15 zonings. We start all the way from the other end, that's the Siglap Franco Estate. And in that estate there, you'll find zonings for your two-storey lander as well as your two-storey bungalows. And then if you move towards the Tolokura region, then you have a mixture of inter-terraces and landed homes there, as well as some boutique projects. And then you move a little bit more into the Juche and Kachong region that's similar to Tolokura where you have a mixture of the landed as well as boutique projects. And then you come over to the Mountbatten region where you have the Amber, Meyer, as well as the Goodman area. This area here is zoned with your two-storey semi-Ds as well as your two-storey bungalows. So we are actually just off Meyer Road and we're in between two really popular condo projects, Alto as well as Makina. And I think what's unique about this, we're right across the Goodman Lander Enclave. And like Michaela said, I think what's great about living in this particular zoning, you're a pure either a semi-D or a bungalow zoning. And this means that the houses here are just generally less dense and you'll find that there'll be a little bit more privacy if you're looking for something that's a little bit less built up and a little 
bit more space all around the estate, then this would be the area that you would look at. And just yeah. building on that, in this area, in the Peach Garden Estate specifically, yeah. there are only 39 landed homes here. And there are only 19 houses out of 39 that are detached plots. So the size range that you will find in terms of the detached plots here in Peach Garden, they usually range from about 5,009 all the way to about 6,007 for a corner larger plot. But I think it's really rare to find a land that's just over 6,000. So this is 6,123 square feet and it's a very palatable land size because it does mean that you're keeping your quantum for a detached house under 15 million. And then on top of that, the bonus point is that we do have the upcoming MRT station yes. just three minutes walk away and it yeah. is quite rare to find landed homes just right beside the MRT station. I mean, that just speaks to the value that holds when you have an MRT line in close proximity. In this case, this is a Thompson East Coast line that will bring you to Orchard Road and the Marina Bay and the CBD area. living area is where we're at. If you're walking through the home with us, you will notice that there are quite minimal fixtures here, which is great for owners to just plug and play, bring your own furniture in. I think lots of space just in... So just from the couch where Beatrice is standing... Uh, <laughs> so this alone is already 4 meters away from the couch. Can you imagine what they can do here? So wall to wall is about 7.8 meters, really generous size. And I think we were just talking about how it's so rare to find a home that has its living room away from the front porch. Yeah. So that gives you a lot of privacy and we're just facing the greenery. So if you're having friends over, the kids are playing outside, you guys are watching TV together. A really nice layout and orientation. So it is a split living and dining sort of concept. So you do have a little step up to your dining area. And when you come up, also the entire floor, this is all uh, marble. And then when you come up into the living area. It's nice to have sort of an elevated dining area. Amazing eight-seater and it's comfortable here. I'm still walking around here. You have space there. So upgrade to a bigger one, a circular table for more people maybe. I think you definitely have the option for that. So kitchen, mind your step, you are stepping down. This is where they did the bulk of the renovations back in 2008. Previously, there was like a helper's quarter over here. So they knocked that out and they shifted it towards the back so that you can have a larger kitchen. They have an island in the middle and I just love the windows. This is actually towards the front of the house and you also have a little breakfast nook here at the side. This was done in 2008 in the shaker style and it's back in trend now, isn't it? You can actually keep it as is. Lots of counter space, aircon in the kitchen itself. So you can do your baking here. I think I would live in this kitchen. <laughs> yeah. All your appliances over here. So there's a hidden yeah. storeroom that was part of the original floor plan because yeah. this was the mid's quarter, right? Correct. It extends underneath the staircase. This side, we have more storage. Large kitchen. Yeah. Two fridges. So yeah. this can be like your pantry area. So towards the back here. This extends towards... Uh, oh, that's Max. Come and see Max. <laughs> He's Hi, very Max. happy to see us. Yeah. Hi, baby. He's a cutie. So help us room. Help us wash closet. And then side exit to visit Mac. Otherwise, towards the back on the side of the home. Let's talk a bit more about the pricing options that we have. The first one is to just buy and hold and just stay with the condition that it is because it is in moving condition and nothing much really needs to be done. So why buy into such a land plot, right? Yeah. So of course you have the option of buying something smaller, perhaps if you're looking at something in District 15 for a 4,000 square feet plot of land, the asking price comes up to be about 10.5 million. And then coming to ours, that's about 6,123 square feet, asking price 13.25 million. Why this or the other? And because in Singapore, there are only 73,000 landed homes and in District 15, itself, you have about 9,500 and only about 1,900 of them are detached houses and I don't think all of them are sized at 6,000 over square feet. So if you're looking at the price appreciation in the future, assuming that they appreciate because of inflation as well as building costs, about $400 PSF for each of them. We're looking at about 1.5 million price appreciation for the 4,000 square feet land, about 10.5 million and we're looking at about $2.5 million appreciation for our unit here at 6,123 square feet. Yeah. And I guess also the second option that we want to explore is that you can buy to renovate. Build up right now is about 5,000 square feet. Assuming you want to renovate about 160 per square feet, that brings your cost to about 800,000. So adding that on, of course, that adds more value to the home and that will allow even more appreciation as you buy and hold. Finally, the third option we have for you is if you want to buy the home and do a full rebuild. So we had the builder walk through and give us the numbers in terms of the max build up that you can go. So for this particular plot at 6123 square feet, you can actually do a two and a half storey detached home, keeping to, of course, the 12 meters 
meter building height control. You can actually have a build up of about 9,300 square feet. Now let's just pack the rebuild cost to about $400 PSF. Total rebuild cost will work out to be about 3.72 million. Adding that to the list price right now at 13.25, that means that you will get a brand new detached home with a build up of 9,300 square feet sitting on a land of 6,123 square feet at a total cost of 16.97 million. That also puts you at a very good PSF. So what can we buy right now on the market in D15? Cat 1 houses, so those houses are meant for rebuild, more than 40 years old. Right now, there aren't many available on the market if you're looking at old, old for rebuild houses. There is a particular plot on the market right now that's over 9,000 square feet, so it is a significantly larger plot, so the overall quantum of cost will be higher at 23 million. PSF-wise is about 2440 PSF. And then coming to the category 2, we're looking at about 20 to 30 years old, suitable for A&A. &A. There are units there asking about 15 million, land plot about 6,300, square feet and that brings the PSF to about $2,380 and then finally we have the category 3 so something a bit more brand new maybe less than 15 years old moving condition don't have to do much that is also probably in the range of about 15 million for 2,500 PSF for those kind of houses I think for our particular house here at Peach Garden we're kind of like a fusion of category 1 and category 2 in a sense that there is a lot of potential for, for rebuild, rebuild. Yeah, yeah but at the same time you really don't have to do anything apart from maybe some internal renovations if you wish if we look at our price Yes. We're asking at 13.25 million and that brings our PSF to about $2,163. In terms of our PSF pricing, I think we're priced quite strong. And even if we were to do a whole new brand new build for our unit plot here, we previously mentioned that the PSF will come out to be about 2007 which comparative with our brand new counterparts, that will be about 3004 So there is quite a strong price disparity for our unit as compared to our neighbours in District 15. So the bathroom here is definitely comfortable in size for you if you want to put in a shower and that will be the bathroom that will serve the granny's room here otherwise your guests that come over for a visit. So we'll head into the study room right now. The area now is set up as a study room. Of course, as we mentioned, this could be perfect as a granny's room. Comfortable enough for you to put beds, wardrobe, study table. Because everything is movable right now. Yes. So essentially, yes, you can have like your wardrobe on this end and then maybe the bed on this end. Definitely a really good size granny's room. stairs here. In terms of the building cost, it's actually more than what you would get for the regular plots. And if you see throughout the home, the slab of marble here is more than 2 cm thick. And that shows the quality of the materials that the owners chose when they bought into the house. So the stairwell is really nicely lit as well because you've got the skylight that's coming through. So lots of natural light. And I think that's really important when you come into the second floor because this, you, here you have a secondary family area. You've got the sofa and then the TV here. So this is like a really nice place for you to relax. Gathering space when everybody comes out from their rooms. This is where you can gather on the second floor. We've got four bedrooms. One on each corner. The room size I think is really good. Right now has a queen size bed. Still has that study table there which is huge by the way. Wardrobes are tucked towards the back here but of course if you want you could upgrade and put the wardrobe towards that side and then study table over on this end instead. The bedroom here has a very nice fronting which is very of course the very quiet road that's up ahead of us. I think the quality of the windows are also mm. these windows worth are, mentioning for yeah. sure. These are from back in 1975 and back then quality of work was much better. Not saying that quality of work isn't great now but back then this was really created for long lasting to stand through time. Because over here this actually leads you to your ensuite bathroom but you've got another area here for a dressing table or study table. From here, oh this is the Jack, Jack and Jill. Jill. So you share this bathroom with the other common bedroom. I really like the height of the mm. ceiling. You've got a ventilation fan on top since we we're talking about the ceiling, the ventilation fan and then you still have the ventilation windows at the side. I think this bathroom here in particular, because of its size, you can explore with doing his and her sink for yeah. each of the bedrooms. Then they can share the humongous shower heads. You can even do, oh, they even have two shower heads right now. Mm. So one here, one here. So Oh, they do? They do, yeah, see? 
Oh, so you could like <laughs> you, you could, could kind of portion yeah, it, like, yeah. segregate so, the space so they each have. Their I love the space. the size of mm. this bathroom. So then we'll just pop over to the other room from here. I think about the same size as just now, or maybe slightly bigger. They have the same kind of furniture. So she has a queen size bed and the same long study table, and the wardrobes tucked towards that side over there. I think they definitely have opportunity to explore how they want to use the space. Perhaps move the bed toward this end there. Wardrobe here, if they need more space. There's even space for her to put a lounge chair. Like, just gives you a sense. This is like a really big coffee table, yeah. side table. So yeah, you could definitely update the rooms, put in more storage, put in more wardrobe space. But in terms of the shape and layout, I think it's great. I think the major advantage for this particular plot is that for most of Peach Garden, you are in a back-to-back -back sort of mm -hmm. configuration. But for here, because we're just along the fringe of the ECP, it also means that we're single loading and you don't have any houses behind you. So you get to enjoy greenery. But of course with that also comes the road noise, but that can be really easily mitigated. Even just standing here right now, it's still pretty comfortable. And also you can further mitigate by closing the windows. And once it's closed, you don't really hear anything at all. Yeah. So I don't know whether this will eventually make it into the video. We'll go check out the last common bedroom here. Of all the common bedrooms, I think this is the biggest one. Well, they're all really big. Yeah, they're all really big. They all each have a queen size bed. They all each have a study table. They each have their own lounge chair or vanity table. Yeah. This room faces towards the front. So two rooms face towards the front and two face towards the back. So this one shares the same facing as the master bedroom, which will take you last. You also have a really nice view of the street. Uh, and it's very quiet too because you're away from the main road. So no one comes here to park their cars for fun, yes. right? You only have residents who are parking here. Plus point about this particular room is that she has her own ensuite that she doesn't have to share. They kept the marble from 1975 and it's still so well kept. Finally, we will head into the master bedroom. They partitioned out the master bedroom to incorporate a walk-in wardrobe space. So this is a partition wall and it allows you to put in more storage and also have a feature wall for your TV. Come with me and check this out, guys. How many panels do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven panels of wardrobe. More over on the other side because of the partition that they made. There's still like space in between. This is where you could put your little island. Master bathroom has, well, Really great size. Lots of storage below. WC here. Huge shower. Do you know what this reminds me of? You know those like swimming pools? Yeah. With these like uh, tiles that mm. allow light to go through. But you see if I can just stand on. Can you see me? No. No, I can't <laughs> see you. Can you, see see? you have another section over here. Good for a study table or a dresser. Dating area here. This is great for your makeup. Yeah. In fact, you can even expand the Push wardrobe the area if you want. Yeah. But I think having this little settee is actually quite nice to have. So this is a king size bed with two side tables. Really great once again. No neighbours here, lots of privacy for you. For amenities in the area, you have I-12, Parkway Parade, that's like a five minute drive. Food yeah. options wise, Food options. you have everything along the whole entire East Coast stretch, the Tanjung yeah. Katong stretch, you don't yeah. have any lack of food options in fact. Um, but yes, lots of new cafes always sprouting out in this vicinity. Schools within our one to two kilometer radius, we have Taunan, Kongkwa, Tanjung Katong Primary, as well as Hate Girls Primary School. And we've mentioned many times, because this is such a plus point, you have the upcoming MRT station just 400 meters away. But if you're taking the car, you can just drive down to ECP in three to five minutes and that will lead you to your MCE, KPE and all of that. We hope that you've enjoyed today's home tour. This plot at Peach Garden would be a really great option for you if you're looking for something that is in moving condition that you really don't have to do much. Buy into a plot like this that's 6123 square feet at 13.25 million negotiable, capitalizing on the stable land prices here, waiting for that price appreciation, or do a simple renovation, live comfortably, until you decide you want to do a full rebuild and do a massive build up of over 9,000 square feet and still have your total rebuild costs come under a very comfortable quantum, under 17 million which is really, I think, hard to come by in this area. So if you're keen to find out more, you can always give Beatrice and myself a ring. We'll be happy to show you the place. But before we go, don't forget to click like and subscribe to our YouTube channels, Instagram and Facebook, as well as TikTok. We'll see you there. I'm Michaela. Beatrice, Property, Property Brothers, Living Brothers, always happy to show you the place. 
what does this mean? Stand together. Oh, this means stand, stand together. together. Stand together. Stand okay. Together, side okay. by side. Oh, twinsies! Yeah. <laughs> Woo, I'm sweating. Under 15 million. Oh, uh, wait, I want to say something. What do I want to say? Uh, it was very important. It was building on to that. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, got it. Okay. Very good. Alright, next one. Go into the home. Uh, okay. 